The project is situated off the bank of Ghana Street in the heart of the metropolis. According to the public relations officer of the Ghana Water Company Limited, the water used on the site was connected illegally. During a visit by a team from the Criminal Investigations Department, Public Utilities Regulations Commission, and the Ghana Water Company Limited, workers on the project site had already pumped some water from the illegally connected pipe and stored in about three tanks. The workers, however, denied having knowledge of the illegal activity by the contractor and the owner of the building. Officials then went ahead to disconnect the pipeline. Ni Abe is the Ghana Water Company Regional Public Relations Manager for the Northern Sector. For some time now, we've been battling with the issues of illegal water connections. And so last night, we got hinted of uh, some illegal connection on these premises. Lo and behold, when we came in last night, upon our investigations, we realized that this facility behind us uh, has no uh, documentations with us. What it means is that he is not in our system as a customer, yet they've managed to illegally connect the water to build this structure right from foundation to the level you are seeing. And so this morning we are here uh, with the Ghana Police Service and also the Public Utility Regulatory Commission, which is the PURC, to just demonstrate to them some of the challenges that we are battling with. And so the PURC has taken notice of everything. The police service has also taken notice of everything. And we've disconnected the premises. Our next line of action is to invite her to answer to why she has such connection to a facility without any reference or recourse to the Anahuta Company. According to the water company, it has lost about 20% of its revenue to illegal connections for the year 2021 and the continuous illegal activity by residents is affecting water supply. The company is already battling with obsolete equipment and erratic power supply. In light of this, the PRO has warned residents and businesses engaged in illegal connections to desist from such acts or face prosecution. Within the Tamale metropolis, it happens that one of the challenges that we are battling with has to do with illegal connections. And for 2022, we are waging a serious war on illegal activities. And so this is to serve a notice to the public that whoever is engaged in illegal connection should be mindful that Ghana Water Company will come after them. And we mean it. We will come after anybody involved in illegal connections.